taking a live look at homes in the East County. Well, help may be on the way for people struggling to find an affordable place to live in San Diego. The county just took a major step in setting up a $25 million trust fund to invest in affordable housing. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live in Talmadge with details on who that money may help. Rachel. Kimberly, this is the Talmadge Gateway. It's an affordable housing complex for seniors. It just opened a couple of months ago and is now home to roughly 60 seniors. But county leaders say we need to get more of these buildings up and as quickly as possible. This morning, the County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to take the first step in setting up a $25 million trust fund. The fund would allow the county to directly invest in affordable housing like the Gateway Complex. The goal is to create at least a thousand in units, but some say this is just a drop in the bucket to what is a multi-billion dollar problem. A new staff report shows the average rent is up 6% from a year ago. Homelessness is up 5%. The money would create affordable housing for our most vulnerable populations, the homeless, veterans, and people with special needs. Leticia Rodriguez may spend the night in a shelter for the first time tonight. She's been trying to find a place for her mom and kids for more than a year. Everything's too expensive. They ask for too much stuff for you to rent. Like they want you to have renter's insurance. They want you to have a score of like five something. They need a lot of stuff from you. Your income has to be three times the rent, which really, you really can't get that. And that not possible for a lot of people in San Diego. You'll hear more from her coming up new at 6. The county says in order for this to work, though, they need to partner with somebody in the private sector. They're expected to take this up again in October and formally establish the trust. Reporting live in Talmadge, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. A lot of people watching that issue very closely. Rachel, thank you.